Star Wars Rebels Season 4, Episode Number 7. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to next week's episode of Rebels. Making our way through this season, damn near at the halfway point once we finish this episode, or close to it for that matter anyway. And I'm excited for it, man. Obviously, so far this season, we've been focusing on this Lothal stuff, and it seems like, you know, that's going to be our main focus for the rest of the show, I would assume. You know, I, I think I talked about it in, you know, a couple re uh, reactions prior to this, but I'm assuming the main kind of finale is going to be them trying to retake Lothal or something along those lines, but it seems like our main focus is going to be here on Lothal, which is awesome because obviously this is kind of where we started and we haven't been back here recently. It's crazy to see, you know, how much it's changed and how different everything is. But last episode, we had the Loth Wolf. That only Ezra could really see, it seems like. And again, I speculated if it was real or not, but I feel like obviously it has to be something that is real because, you know, it carried him and Sabine back to their camp. So I don't know if it's like an interdimensional being or if it can choose who to be seen by or what, but the Loth Wolf, super dope. And I love the way they brought it into the show. And I love the way that we're bringing back some of the kind of earlier seasons things, season things too, because... Early on with Ezra, I feel like his main focus in the Force and stuff was definitely more so around the animals, the loath cats. You know, we had that uh, episode where, we went, where they went to the base and, you know, he was kind of controlling different creatures there as well. And then we kind of stepped away from it for a while. You know, we had the Darth Maul stuff. He focused on his lightsaber and everything like that. And now we're coming back around to it, which is kind of dope to see. But regardless, guys, you already know I'm super excited for this as always. So I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys want to see next, man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. For reaction, to will be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. It's funny. No matter what happens, we always end up back here. Lazarus has a strong connection to this place. It is his home. Maybe it's more than that. There were a lot of missions in a lot of places, but we kept coming back. Are you saying we were meant to come here? Maybe something more. Maybe there is something more to it to Lothal. Maybe there's something, you know, some more bigger overarching thing, and I'm sure there is, but... My agent, Roch, will arrive shortly. Agent who? This is going to be another big bad we're being introduced to here. Oh, Thrawn's always so menacing to see, man. Now, who did he say this was? Agent who? I smell it. You smell what? I smell the sat. Oh, shit. And he's not alone. Dude, he really found him that quick? Oh my god. What is this dude? Is he similar to Zeb? He's not a Lassa himself. But we haven't have we seen a creature like this before? We'll draw them away. You get the hyperdrive out of here. This is an assassin. He said he can smell Lassat, so he's strong scent. Should we continue our search? Yo, chill out. No. He knows, man. Oh. Don't shoot me, shoot him. Yeah. Oh, he's going to get killed. Oh. Good shit, Ezra. Strong force push. Sat is still close. Find him. Mm. This dude's going to be a problem just like Thrawn. Stuck a tracker on him. I would assume anyway. And that's death for him. <laughs> Shit. Dude. Agent Rook? I think is what they called him. This motherfucker is a problem. And they, he still has the tracker on him, so he's just going to track him back to their base. I'm assuming that was a tracker anyway. I'd be surprised if it was anything else. Always somebody cutting them off, man. I see they're trying to develop their relationship more this season. It makes me scared, bro. I feel like when shows do that, that some someone could die and... Uh, I don't know. Look what I got. 
Damn. <laughs> Man, sugar happy. Yes, I should have mentioned I stole the transport. Yeah. We have another. And it's small, creepy, and very dangerous. Maybe you should talk to, yep, see the tracker. Maybe you should talk to Zeb about it because maybe Zeb knows him or knows what he is. Is he a, like, maybe he's a hairless Lasat? I mean, I don't know. We've seen different Lasats before, but never like, I don't know, man. He looks different, but he looks similar. We're out of time. Shit, and they're coming in full force. We won't stand long against those tanks. We're out of options. The wolf? Wolves? The loath wolves? Are they gonna ride them out? Do you know the way out? Yeah. Seems like the best idea we've got. Let's go. It's like the spirits in Legend of Korra. I'll hunt them down. You had your chance. We're going to finish them my way. Get me air support. I think it's bomb the rocks. Man. Are we good? A true report that Captain Sindula has escaped. Yep. We're good. And she took out some of y'all shit. There's a ton of them, man. It'd be cool if the Loth Wolves mounted an attack against the Empire too, you know what I mean? Help them escape even more. But I don't want to see no Loth Wolves die, man. Small pack, there's only three of them. They said last episode that they are, uh, that nobody's seen them in a long time, that people thought they went extinct, right? This is bomber LS-21 approaching your position. What is Oof. our primary target? Let's turn those mountains into dust. Copy that, command. Commencing bombing run. Man, they're about to bomb this whole place, dude. They might actually make these Loth Wolves go extinct. What now, Ezra? I'm not sure. There wasn't a picture of wolves eating those people, was there? <laughs> Maybe they sensed the bombs. The Empire's bombing the mountains. Oh, dude, they could get buried under here. There's no way out of here. That we know of. I feel like some crazy shit's about to happen. What the fuck? Kind of was like uh, when someone when you jump to hyperspace a little bit, no? So these are, are they kind of like the uh, what what were the other creatures we saw earlier in the season, like that jumped to hyperspace, the whale space whales or whatever the fuck they were? Are they kind of like that? What the fuck? I don't know what I just saw, but I liked it. <laughs> There are people coming down from the sky. I think they might be Jedi. Mm, that's what I was gonna say. Maybe those people are Jedi. Doom. Doom is my name. Caleb Doom is the name I was born with. What? Well, how does the wolf know that? Why did he change it to Kanan? It has a deep connection to the Force. To the energy of this planet more focused like it has a purpose i'm getting a feeling building the tie defender isn't the worst thing the empire's doing here that's star type shit bruh something more sinister yep i mean kanan's real name might be doom but doom in the sense of the death star too bitch <laughs> all the paths are coming together right yeah I'm just not sure if we're going to like where they lead. I wonder if Hera made it. I know she did. We know she, okay. Now we're seeing her arrive back at the rebel base. I was gonna say, we know she made the jump to hyperspace, but we don't know if she made it, made it, but here's confirmation, man. Like, dude, the thing is, like, this is just for the TIE Defender. Like, this isn't even Death Star related, which obviously we know from a viewer's perspective, the whole overarching thing here is the Death Star and whatnot that the Empire is doing. Season 4, Episode 7 of Rebels is in the books. We know the whole overarching thing is the Death Star, you know? But 
man, this is amazing to see shit like this, bro. Like, I, I, I think back to when I first watched Star the the very first Star Wars, A New Hope, man, and like that was over. Fuck, man, what? Two years ago now, I think it was May of. Was it three years ago? Dude, it might have been three years already. What the fuck? No. It might have been three years already since I've watched A New Hope. Maybe it was that long ago? Either way, it's been like at least two and a half years, man. And I think back to that and how little information I knew about Star Wars and everything. And then I think back, I think to now, like everything I know not even just like with the other movies and stuff in Clone Wars, but just within this series to see how big of a part this rebel group in particular. And when I say this rebel group, I'm referring to, you know, Kanan, Hera, Ezra, Sabine, you know, Chopper, Zeb, all of them played in taking down the Empire. It's fucking insane, man. And I'm sure, you know, back then, obviously this wasn't thought of yet. You know, the, I'm sure... When this was written, they were writing it off of that to fit into it and stuff. But man, it's crazy to see how big of a part they played in it. And we, you know, so, some Star Wars fans, quote unquote, and I, I mean, I get there's people that don't like animated shows or like animated shows like this seem kiddish or look kiddish and whatnot. And that's what, you know, pushes people away from watching it. But man, like as a Star Wars person, as a Star Wars fan, I feel like this and Clone Wars and... You know, obviously I haven't watched Bad Batch yet or anything and not even counting the live action shows, which, you know, the live action is different because I feel like most Star Wars fans just, you know, watch all the live action shit. And then there's a group of Star Wars fans that don't really like the animated shit and they don't watch it. But the animated shit in Star Wars is fucking insane, dude. Like the information that we've got in Clone Wars for, you know, Anakin's fall to the dark side and... You know, everything that happened with him and everything that happened during the Clone Wars and the little details and little wars and or I guess little battles that happened in the overarching war is insane how big of an impact it had on the story. And then this here too, man, like seeing this stuff that this small rebel group has done with these, you know, five, six people or whatever is amazing, man. And I, dude, I... I'm not gonna lie, I am a little nervous for the end of the show because I don't know what the fates of these characters are and especially with how Clone Wars ended. I know Clone Wars didn't have no problem ending on kind of a a sad, darkish note, you know? And I guess Star Wars in and of itself is a tragic story. So, you know, the endings are gonna be sad, but dude, I, I'm a little bit nervous to finish up this show, man. Not only because I'm gonna be sad that we're done with it, but just because I don't know what the fate of these characters is gonna be. And again, I know when we originally had, you know, when the movies came back out, these characters probably weren't even thought of and they were kind of thought of as an afterthought and written into the story and whatnot. But man, I am, I am nervous to say the least. I am nervous to say the least, but I will tell you right now, this season four, that we've had so far that I've seen thus far up these first seven episodes fucking amazing it seems like this is all just one giant arc and you know I said this originally Clone Wars had always had those three to four episode arcs so it was like mini stories mini movies within the Clone Wars this has always been like I feel you know obviously we've had our two parters and whatnot and you know, I don't think anything's gonna ever take the place of that season two finale for me personally, which I gotta rewatch that shit, bro. I haven't seen it since I reacted to it, but I gotta rewatch that because that was fucking beautiful. But these episodes have always kind of been more episode focused, I guess, so to speak, you know, single episode stories. But it seems like this season right here from episode one to now even, and I don't know where we're gonna continue with these last seven, eight episodes, but... It seems like it's all just been one giant connected arc, one giant almost movie essentially. And I, I'm not gonna lie, getting this kind of format in, in Rebels feels good, dude. And it makes me excited to continue this shit. But guys, let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, if you guys did enjoy this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for reaction if you have on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes if you guys wanna check that out. Link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, everybody? I hope you guys all did enjoy that video you just checked out. 
If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is a movie or TV series that you guys would like to see me react to next? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo. The homie Silas Kane and the homie Alexander Collins. I appreciate your guys' insane support, man. If you guys want to join the Patreon family, link is on screen right now as well as in the description down below. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.